guys how are we how are we doing how are we how are we today i hope you are well i hope you are blessed i hope you are living life yeah yeah cool lovely so hi guys welcome back to my channel my body hurts i can't do this <laughs> like they tried to kill me at the gym yesterday i asked my lovely friends on instagram to please send me questions that you guys want me to answer so this is a life updated questions and i haven't done q a in a long time i think i did like two years ago so this is an updated q a video for your pleasure you're welcome <laughs> My makeup is given. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like, I look so good. Like, I like it. I like it. I like it. Like it. Like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so, that is what we are doing. Let's start with the question. Oh, 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 before we start with the questions, before we start with the questions, um, I hope you are subscribed. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please, please subscribe i am begging you please share it with your loved ones and let's get right into the video so i got asked a lot of questions not a lot actually but enough to engage in conversation so i'm gonna answer from bottom up so someone asked me how are you settling in birmingham well Birmingham has been great. I've been in Birmingham a few months now. Um, I left London. <laughs> Birmingham has been amazing. I love it here. It's basically London, but quieter. Okay. Is everything in London, everything you have in London, you have here. Um, nice food places. Not a lot of African food restaurants, but we can make do with what we have. Um, I have access to African food shop so i'm good you know i'm good i'm here making friends slowly but surely <laughs> making friends slowly but surely and i love it i love it i love it i love it so yeah that's birmingham for me oh someone also asked how how was the transition moving from london to birmingham so basically yeah it's been great um obviously i don't have my very close friends and my family close here in Birmingham but um I see them as often anyway so you know it's it's good it's good um I don't feel like I'm missing out much I can't lie to you yeah it's just that when there's all the events are in London so I go to London for events our evil events Oko ID all of this but other than that on a day-to-day -day, i love it here i love it here so someone asked <laughs> not someone soraya asked i didn't have i didn't intend to call names but soraya would always be soraya she asks would you love me if i was a chicken i will eat you <laughs> i will eat you hello i will eat you like that means i love you okay let me answer your question would you i love you you know i would love you if you were still a chicken but i will eat you so it's not that kind of like um agape love that kind of love is a food pleasure kind of love you know that i will love you if you are a chicken so and um see she also asks would you say life is going as planned wow um <laughs> yeah yeah i would say you know i'm i'm at a good place i am i am at a good place in my life right now everything is going well my family are blessed everyone is healthy my loved ones my friends everybody is thriving doing amazing for themselves in their individual um area of life career wise um steady progression so i can't really complain i am happy spiritually i am happy physically i've been going to the gym um i've been exercising or oh, more there's this one box exercise that we did yesterday at the gym yeah my whole body is still pinning me like it's still pinning me 
but i know it is it is a lifestyle change i'm trying to incorporate in my life so i love it i love it i love it um yeah life is great life is beautiful i'm happy i'm trying not to let things affect me too much i'm trying to always try to see the good in things as always i'm trying to be happy as always so yeah life is great i can't complain <laughs> i can't complain um someone asks so i have three different questions here and they're asking about my skincare routine so i will post a skincare routine video but um i don't do much my skincare routine is not much i don't use a lot of product um i use um drugstore products and yeah it's not but i will do a i will do a video i will do a i will do my morning skincare video and i will do my evening skincare video i think it might be best not wearing makeup i will do that after so, okay i will take out my makeup on camera for you guys so you guys can see my evening skincare routine someone asked someone asked um oh this is it this question is a little bit deep you know okay let's start <laughs> how old are you how old are you i am 27 years of age i'm a 27 years old woman i am not even a 27 year old girl anymore i am a whole grown ass woman so i'm a 27 year old 27 years old i'm going to be 28 later on this year so i'm excited and do you have any hobbies um i do have hobbies making my youtube videos is a hobby for me i love to read i love to go to the gym now i love to watch movies i like to sleep sleeping is a hobby too so i like to sleep i sleep a lot and i read a lot and um i don't watch tv shows and videos and films as much as i used to before but um yeah and i go to the gym my gym is like my it's like my new hobby now that i do so i guess that's that's it i sleep hold on i sleep i eat i read i go to the gym i make videos and what else do i do and i sleep <laughs> and i sleep so those are the hobbies that I, I have. So what is life after uni? Oh my God, I think I should do a whole video on this. I will do a whole video on this. I will do a whole video on this about like career stuff. But um, life after uni, amazing. It hasn't always been easy. I will be very honest with you. It hasn't been easy. Um, I graduated 2020. I graduated 2020 uh started my masters and finished officially and then the house to do with school 2022 so we're in 2024 so between 2022 and now it has been a roller coaster it has been interesting there's been lots of tears there's been lots of happy moments there's been incredible things but right now I would say life is good and life after uni is amazing but it's not easy if you know what I mean like it's a big shock in the system trying to apply for jobs um, getting rejected and all of that and trying to find yourself as well because you realize your whole life is just studying and book and book and book and then boom you're faced with reality so yeah but it's great um, I mean I'm in a career that I love I'm still within the legal sector praise Jesus so <laughs> and um, yeah I it's great it's great it hasn't been easy but we are thriving yeah where do you see yourself in the next five years I want to be happy I want to be happy I want to have been able to progress my career um, probably be in a different role um, in a bigger and better role and obviously be married um 
started maybe one or two by then and in the next five years i want my channel to have blown and be big and have um lots of engagement and make more youtube videos and make more content i don't know where life would definitely take me but yeah happy living life as always and just being happy and just doing all the things i love to do but this time probably with um the love of my life and just traveling and doing great things together yeah so someone says oh can we get more food recipes please <laughs> the meat pie slapped thank you very much thank you but um yes there will be more food recipes i'll be post i'll be posting more food recipes uh i'm not cooking as much as i used to before because your girl has become a little bit lazy just a tiny tiny bit lazy when it comes to the kitchen but i'll be posting more videos and if you follow me on tiktok i actually do like little snippets of my food and clips of videos and things that i do so you can follow me on tiktok as well if you want to see more food content on there but yeah more videos the next time i've done fried rice i've done meat pie maybe i will do soup on this channel like i'll do my favorite okra crunchy okra soup on this channel like mwah, incredible but more food recipes to come but like i'm not trying to eat a lot now i'm trying to do simple simple sandwich you know granola you know plantain so but more youtube um but more food videos to come definitely um what made you start youtube what made you start youtube what made me start youtube doing youtube was i like talking i like talking i like talking to myself i like talking to the people i like having a good time so um i just feel like i have a, a wealth of knowledge and experience that i would love to share with you guys i have younger siblings and i know there's a lot of other younger people out there as well that that would benefit from my experience from the things that i'm learning the things that i am doing so yeah that's basically when we start youtube and also i feel like i can be an educator so i like teaching people i like learning the whole purpose of me starting this youtube channel was basically to share my experience and to teach and by teaching it means like to explore and is you know bring attention to the ebook culture to in inspire people to learn their language learn Igbo in the diaspora like just because you're in the diaspora doesn't mean that you cannot speak your language just because you're in the diaspora doesn't mean that you cannot um learn your language okay so that's the reason why i started this youtube and obviously it's growing i'm sharing a lot more than Igbo and the language and the music so i'm growing i'm doing more vlog you know taking you guys to events taking you guys to my holidays um sharing food recipes with you guys so that's basically it so we are all here living learning and also this is like a personal documentation for myself it's like my little diary as well so i just like you know why not so yeah that's basically what made me start youtube um to learn to learn from other people and to also do great things so i asked um how many siblings do you have i have a lot of siblings a lot <laughs> a lot i have five siblings there are six of us and i'm the eldest um so yeah someone asks um do you like podcasts if so what are your top three podcasts <laughs> here we go so my top three podcasts that I listen to, I listen to um, a lot of preaching, a lot of preaching sermons. Um, hold on, let me even go on Spotify. Let me see. Let me let me let me go on Spotify and show you live what my podcast is. 
my top podcast was Cononia and that is Apost Apostle Joshua Salben. I also listen to Hidden Brain and the host of the show is called Shanka Vedanta and I enjoy watching or list I enjoy listening to um, Hidden Brain because it challenges my brain. I am not from a science a science background so listening to his podcast it enables me to understand about human behavior about human psychology and how um people's life experience affects their psychology and how their psychology affects their life experience if that makes sense so i like listening to because it exposes me to a different field of knowledge and um i guess expertise because they do talk about a lot about um psychology psychological social um experience and and things like that so on a normal day i am not exposed to those kind of um that field of knowledge so i listen to it to basically learn and i am very intrigued about human behavior i'm very intrigued about you know why people do the things that they do so that's why i listen to it i also listen to how far um with mr easy and temi otadala i just love the babe i love temi otadala i am actually i'm a fan i am a big fan of temi i also listen to y and t love um that's don't jealous me and yemi tolu and yemi um i also listen to it i'm a sucker for love i am a sucker for good relationship there's a pattern here okay i like listening to things that are kind of like light-hearted and simple and easy and straightforward and all of that i also listen to 90 baby show in fact i listen to a lot of the U uk um podcast i also listen to i said what i said podcast is a nigerian podcast and um yeah what don't i listen to so but you asked my top three right so if you say do you like podcasts if so what are your top three so i would so my top three podcasts i would say is um hidden brain right i would say is how far actually okay how far is very seasonal so i'll say hidden brain um i said what i said podcast and yemi and tolu yt yt podcast so I think those top th those are my top three podcasts, but it doesn't mean that I don't like the others as well. So I like the '90s Baby Show, but that's my podcast because it put me in it puts me in a good mood. And I always if I listen to um, I said what I said. I like their dilemmas that they discuss on there. You realize that people are mad. People are crazy. People are crazy <laughs> in this life. People are crazy. I like listening to Y and T podcast because it's so nice. It's so like I would always laugh. I always I like light hearted um stuff. I like like easy breezy kind of content. So that's what I like. What are you currently reading? So I am currently reading You Made of Fall of Death with Your Beauty. I've been reading this book for a long time but i stopped reading it to read another book because i thought it was boring but then i came back to it and it's actually really nice so i have this much left i have this much left to read and that's the book i'm reading once i'm done reading this book then i'm going to start reading this one and this book was given to me by my partner so i am excited to read it so those are the two books that are on my radar right now okay so someone asks your house is on fire your people are safe but you can grab three items what are you getting um assuming that i have my phone in my hand i will take um my laptop i will take my passport and i will take my Okay, hold on so phone in hand so that doesn't count right <laughs> three things phone in hand it doesn't count so i'll take my purse i'll take my passport and i will take my school certificates i will take my school certificates yeah yeah so phone purse 
no phone is a given <laughs> phone is a given i'll take purse um passport and school certificates yeah yeah someone said you can only eat one meal for the rest of your life what is it gonna be fried rice <laughs> fried rice fried rice i can eat fried rice lunch breakfast dinner i can eat fried rice all day every day it's fried rice and turkey fried rice smoked turkey fried rice mm -hmm. incredible i can eat it because it has the curves it has the protein and it has the vegetables what a balanced diet <laughs> what a balanced diet and you not add coleslaw oh or you not add um red brim incredible i will eat fried yam well i like yam I, I like yam but i don't think i can eat yam every day because yam is actually too expensive these days like jesus christ one two bar of yam you're getting pay, you're paying nine pounds for like one small something like but fried rice smoked turkey fried rice is where is that go and taste fancy that the lord is good <laughs> Yay! Someone asked, <laughs> someone asked, why are you not consistent on YouTube? I'm sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> I am so, so sorry. I am very, very extremely sorry that I'm not consistent on YouTube. But I'm trying. I am trying. If I'm not posting a full video, I'm posting YouTube shorts. So please, um, don't crucify me. I'm sorry. I will do better. But the reason why is because sometimes not even lie to you okay i battle with um how much to share i battle a lot with what to put out and i'm a very shy person whether you like it or not like <laughs> i'm extremely shy and <laughs> so it's like there's always this constant battle in my head of what do i need to put out is it going to be good enough and um how much am i sharing and um do people even care and it's just it's always that constant um thought in my head all the time so whenever like i'm in my head i just don't record or post so yeah that's why i'm not consistent honestly but i'm working on it i'm working on it i know it's not good because um i do have great ideas i do have all these video great video ideas that i would want to put out but then i took myself out a lot of things and it's not good so that's why i'm not consistent thank you for pe the people so far that have stuck with me and coming back to watch my videos and leaving comments and engaging with it i really really appreciate but i'm trying to do better so if there's no full video in the week that will be a youtube short that will be something so bear with me this is a journey this is a process so we are getting that we are getting that someone asks is love on the horizon uh is very similar to the next question someone asks are you in a relationship um yes i am i am in a relationship hallelujah praise god <laughs> So, um, love is not just on the horizon. Love is here. Love is here. What stage of life are you at right now? I am in my hustling stage. Let me put it that way. I am in my hustling stage in my career. I'm trying to learn as much, absorb so much. I'm still kind of new in the industry. So, I'm trying to learn, 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 and absorb and soak, 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 soak up all the information, soak up all the knowledge, soak it all up. So I am in my hustling stage. I'm in my hustling and in my learning stage. Um, I am in my developmental, shall I say, developmental stage. I'm in my growth stage. You know, we're always growing every day. So that's the stage I'm, of life I'm in. Okra or Oha soup? I can't lie, recently I will say okra soup, you know. Recently I will say okra soup. I'm a big fan of Oha soup, but I also like okra soup. But I can only eat okra soup if if it's if okra soup is more than three days. Okay, if okra soup is more than a week, I don't want to eat it anymore. 
<laughs> if soup in general if soup is more than three days i don't want to eat it anymore but with okra soup a week max a week max i can give okra soup max and i will eat it and i will enjoy it thoroughly and i like the fresh and the crunchiness like it's so juicy like all the vegetable the ogo the okra like mm, you're eating it's like it's like you're soaking up all the vitamins like yeah so okra soup but however oha soup is also an elite soup and that one i can manage for more than a week top three chicken songs uh -uh. top three chicken songs nah man it's a bit it's a bit hard it's a bit hard one second it's a bit hard to choose like when i ask me top albums so I like Ego Yibo, Ego Yibo, Ego Yibo. <laughs> mm, I like Ego Yibo. That's the song I've been using to post any of my story that is going on Instagram. Is Ego Yibo. Any story, any video, <laughs> anything I'm putting. The song over, the song I'm using is Ego Yibo. I like Chike Ego Yibo. I like Chike Watching Over Me featuring Zoro. I also like the one I like watching over me featuring Ada Ehi as well. And the last one is between Hard to Find featuring Flavor or Egu featuring More Bad. But that song is too short, like it's too short. So no. Give me anything from from Boo of the Bullets. Uh, anything from Boo of the Bullets, I will take. Um, I like Amen. I like Amen. I think it's a beautiful love song. And um, yeah, have I given you three? Have I given you three? The follow up question from the same person is what top three flavor songs? I think this is unfair. I think this is actually unfair because why would you ask me top three flavor song? I don't have. <laughs> I don't have. Like my top three flavor song changes every month, every every year. I don't have. I actually don't have. But what I will tell you is top three flavor song I'm listening to right now. So I like that very cheap. If I'm going to introduce flavor to someone... The first song that I will give them to listen to is Levels. I like Levels. I like Flavor Levels because that's when he now entered into his big boy era, you know? So, what's your favorite holiday so far? My favorite holiday so far, ooh, I think it would be Zanti. Yeah. I think, um, I think when I went to Greece, when I went to Zakynthos, is my first luxury big girl, soft girl holiday. Like, I'm a, it was expensive, shot. <laughs> it was an expensive holiday, but it was worth it. I had a good time. We enjoyed ourselves, had good food. Um, it was lovely. It was lovely. I would go back again. But I would love to go with a partner. Like, I feel like it's a nice place to go. Like, it's a very, mm, it's tush. Like, it's, um, it's bad and bougie. Like, it's a bougie um, holiday. Or maybe it's because of where we stayed. The hotel we stayed, Zante Marie. Ooh! Zante is beautiful. And the hotel is even more beautiful and i had a great time there but i've also been to lovely holidays and i think they all they are all lovely in different ways um i went to belgium sometime in february and something beautiful happened in belgium and it holds a special place in my heart so i don't know so it's just like there are different memories and different and it's also with different people as well so it's just special and when i went to romania my holiday in romania it was really nice because of it was the memory behind it it was the memory behind it i went with my girls and we went to the 
the spa we went to the spa it was beautiful i had a great time it was nice i would go again the theme here is all the holidays i've been to i will go again because they've all been nice i would love to go to romania to go to the spa as well again i would actually do that again i would do like a day trip to go to the spa so i love it Belgium holds a special place in my heart because I again I went with my girls and they surprised me like ah, like they really really surprised me and it's very special in my heart I would never forget it it's memories that you create with different people with different things and I don't know would I classify Nigeria as a holiday but again it's nice and this year there'll be more holidays to go so i'm excited it's all about making memories i can't pick a favorite but they are all special they are all special in their own special ways so yeah and then this last question i think it's the last one hold on hold on yeah so um this person said i'm 22 years old and Igbo, but i've never been to the east i'm going for the first time this christmas any tips don't fly through lagos <laughs> go through abuja that's the tip um have a good time i hope you enjoy your holiday um the tip i would say is don't be don't go and be formed like i just got back because if it's forming i just got back people are going to use you and abuse you so if you can um go with someone that already knows the land um i don't know if you're going alone with a friend you can go with a family member but i wouldn't recommend going to nigeria on your own if you're going to exchange money do not go to the malam on the street find a bank take an atm card you can take a mastercard so mastercard works in nigeria don't take a visa card visa card like direct it doesn't work in nigeria so take make sure you take a mastercard that you can actually withdraw money from the atm and in the banks so that's what i would say have a good time make sure be safe let people know where you are at every given point of your life <laughs> of your time in nigeria if you're gonna stay out don't stay out too late um yeah and try and have a good time but make sure wherever you're going go with someone that you know don't leave the house by yourself like i wouldn't encourage it you know because it's your first time going but if you're going to the east um enjoy the food the food is fresh the air is fresh go to all the parties i'm telling you if there's a housewarming party make sure you're there if there is a wedding make sure you're there obviously if you're eating be cautious not everybody that gives you food that you collect because one you don't even know the cooking environment but have a good time take lots of pictures please enjoy it for what it is nigeria is a beautiful place the village the east is a beautiful place enjoy it um, enjoy the fresh food and take lots of pictures and share on Instagram because I'm not going this year so I am looking I'm going to be looking and looking and looking at your story to make sure that I catch up with all the updates from your travel I have cho 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 a lot but Thank you guys so much for watching i hope you subscribe i hope you like this video i hope you share with your loved ones and i will see you in my next one please do take care of yourself and god is good